What's up guys? Welcome to Man Cave Collectibles. We are getting ready to hit up our weekly toy hunt. So we got some cool, uh, we got, we're gonna go see Back in Time, Jimmy over at Back in Time. He's got in a lot of cool stuff. So you're gonna wanna hang around for that. As you know, uh, Jimmy will ship stuff out to you. So you can uh, hit him up, you know, if you see something and he's just got a bunch of cool stuff. So I thought it'd be a cool time to go back and hit him real quick and uh, kind of show off the new stuff that he's got in the shop. We're gonna hit up a Walmart first. We're over here in Belmont, uh, near Gastonia. We're gonna hit up this Belmont Walmart and uh, just see what we can find from there. So uh, yeah, no hat today. The hair's growing out, the beard's growing out, looking quite homeless. Uh, but you know, without having to wear the mask, you know, they've reduced some of the mask mandates. So, uh, you know, the beard is getting somewhat under control. It may never be totally under control and the hair either, neither may ever be under control, but but better maybe is the word for it. Anyways, let's run them in Walmart. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys, here we are in the toy section. Now this Walmart, I think is the Walmart that don't have a NECA section, so won't be able to cover that, but we got some core class, Starscream. I really like this core class Megatron. I don't like the elbow so much, but, uh, but I like the way his, the face sculpt and everything looks really nice. Coming on down, we got some of our headmasters here, hard head, which we've seen plenty of. These was kind of funny, those were hard to find early on, and now they're pretty much everywhere. And our Cyberver, our Bumblebee Cyberver stuff. Got a lot of red figures down here. Got the RC, which we've reviewed, unhappily reviewed. Cheetor. Megatron back in there. I'm sure there's probably a prime, maybe. And a prime. To, oh, yeah, yeah. There we go. We do got a prime right in there. So, got pretty much the whole thing. Real Jack. It's a solid figure. And we got some uh, Poth Luke and a 375. And then the 6 inch Black Series. Got a couple figures. To our mission fleet. And then all the stuff. And there. And then spin it on the moon. Beyblade. Tons of He Man. Tons and tons of He Man. Lots of Battle Cat. We got a random. Marvel 0.75 inch peg there, kind of out of place. And coming on down, we got our Apex figures and Power Rangers figures. In fact, we do have a couple of the uh, retros there, pink and a black. Ten bucks, not too bad for those. And we're walking down. Let's see what we got on the other end. We'll start here. Got just some basic figures over here. We got, oh man, poor Braun. If you know, you know. And Joel Murphy. And we got the Seamus. That might be the first time we've seen Seamus. And then uh, the Matt Hardy. Blue face. the two packs. That's kind of cool. I don't think we've seen those yet. That's pretty neat. I guess you uh, pop the box open and you got a two pack. Is that, is that how that works? Got the retro Ghostbusters, the five inch McFarlane's. Looks like uh, Godzilla and Kong got a big restock. Put a couple new ones down here. Gigan, Godzilla from 1995. Of the fame down there. 
you haven't seen it guys, the new releases of uh, the Roadblock, the Snake Eyes is coming out. Roadblock I think goes on sale today, which by the time I post this, it'll probably be a day or two later, but um, he's on Amazon, Amazon exclusive. So I'm gonna try to, try to pick him up. But look at that Spinosaurus, man, that thing is massive. That's awesome. I think that's it for this Walmart. Let's head to the next stop. All right, guys, so nothing really going on at Walmart. Uh, so we are now at a Target. So uh, let's run on in Target. Let's see what we can find. And we'll head out to back in time and, uh, you know, figure out where we want to go from there. All right, guys, in the NECA section over here. Let's see if we got anything new or intriguing jumping out at us. The new Shredder's kind of cool looking. Super 7 Shredder. And we got the new Warhammer stuff. A couple different figures there. Oh, we got more here. Got Undercover Donnie. Got uh, the Witcher. Looks like the first, first release. Kong down there. Man, they're really stocked with uh, all the Back to the Future and the new Kong. The old Kong. Let's see. Let's see kind of how they, you can see the difference. If I can get them held open, there you go. So they look to be like the same, except the facial expressions are definitely different. So, yeah, kind of cool. Annabelle down here. That's it for the NECA section. Let's head over to the toys. All right, over in the toy section here. Got one of the new Batman figures. Tons of Jokers. All those are Jokers. Transformer section pretty well destroyed. I do have the new Starscream, which to me is more like Bloodswing, but is that new packaging for the for the pumpkin head? Why do I not remember that packaging for some reason? I don't remember that. Put in the comments, is that the same packaging or did they release new packaging for those guys? And then coming on down. Got some of the Marvel 3.75 inch figures here. see something I might need. Look what I found, guys. We got the Super Villains Red Skull. There's the one I want, right there. I need Lady Deathstrike. Gosh, she looks good, look at that. That is awesome. All right, so that's one we need. Um, up here, the Mamu. Uh, let's see, got the Red Hood. Hey, back in there, we got that Doom. Awesome. There we go. One thing I needed right there. So we'll take that. And then coming on down. Looks like we got some of the uh, 3.75 inch figures here. These are the ones I'm, I'm super, super tempted to like pick that up and that and put them with my Nenmu. Studios dinosaurs. I think it would look all right. And coming on back down, we got our video game stuff. Space Jam. Oh, we got the Indominus Rex down there. And more Jurassic World, Jurassic Park. Any battle cats there? Got a couple 3.75 inch figures up here. Bar, Luke, and Han. Uh, 
this one figures lots of china. Slam cycle. I do get the Panthor back in here, but I think uh, you know all those are going to be the plastic ones because the flocked. I think is a Walmart exclusive. All right, so we got one thing we was looking for, Lady Death Strike. All right, guys. So that was Target. Um, you know, we didn't really see anything I would say out of the ordinary, uh, but um, you know, typical Target. We're now going to head over to Back in Time Collectibles. See our buddy Jimmy. He's gotten in a lot of new stuff. He's done some rearranging in the store, so I think it'll be a good time just to go over and see him and uh, see what he's got going on. Show you guys what he's got. As always with Jimmy at Back in Time, you guys can hit him up and uh, via text, call him, Facebook, Instagram, um, which I'll put all his information in the in the description. But you know, if there's something you see in the video that you like or need. Hit him up. He'll work out something with you. He'll ship it to you. I think he ships anywhere in the United States. Maybe I'm not. I'm not sure about international. We can ask him. But anyways, um, a lot of you guys have hit me up and said you've used Jimmy and I uh, had, had a good experience with him. So uh, yeah, just hit him up. We'll put all that uh, information in the video. So anyways, that's our next stop. All right, guys, we are up at Back in Time Collectibles. So Jimmy's kind of moved some stuff around, and we'll just kind of scroll through here. And if you uh, are familiar with Jimmy and Back in Time, if you see anything in here, uh, all his information is going to be in the description. Um, so if you see something you like, he will work a deal with you and uh, ship it to you. So uh, a lot of you guys do, do business with Jimmy all the time. So uh, y'all hit me up in the DMs on Instagram and let me know what a good job he's doing. I appreciate the appreciate hearing that feedback. But yeah, anything you see is available for sale anywhere in the United States. He will ship it to you. So he's kind of switched around some of his cabinets. These are pretty cool here. That's the full set there of the uh, dinosaurs, that old TV show from back in the day. Yeah. So pretty cool there. Yeah. And we're gonna go over a lot of new stuff that he's picked up here recently as well. Like that for fifty-five bucks. Yeah, like two weeks ago. Yeah. See, this is actually he gets it in his head. Some video game stuff going on. I mean, I got this kid. It's vintage. And the swamp master's got it for about twenty-five. How much is the reissue stuff bothering the market? Got a ton of loose figures, so if there's specific things you're looking for, you know, that you see kind of some of the, you know, if you see the line or whatever, hit Jimmy up. He uh, has definitely told me to make sure you guys are aware if there's something you like, something you're looking for, hit him up because he, he may have it or, you know, in, in his warehouse or somewhere else. Right. So a lot of people like so, uh, because it, it, it mixes in good. Some of these are kind of hard to go through them. We're just kind of glancing over them here. If you need any of the uh, multiverse stuff, kind of see what names he's got here. No, these don't have an Got some Batman Beyonds. Let's see, I think these are the. Yeah, these are the ones with the uh, facial expression on them. I love these. I need to get one of these. Batman Beyonds. <laughs> Trying to move slow through these, but you might just have to pause it if you see something you might be interested in. started around 2007 I think that line the 25th line ended a couple years ago like 2000 so we're getting ready to get a re-release on these so these are the individual carded versions here so it'll be cool I'm kind of looking forward to uh to the re-releases the two packs if you haven't seen those I've got a post on my Instagram about them so you go check that out if you're on Instagram Commander Duke and Lady Jack, so there's seven. 
We'll go over all the new stuff that he's got in here in a minute. Got a ton of new stuff that we, he's kind of got set aside. So we'll we'll cover that in just a second. So hang around for that. Yeah, and this was actually uh, the only way to get Doc was to be part of the collector's club. Got a whole bunch of Joes. So these are pretty cool here right with their um, someone's got their bios with them. So if there's something you know that you're looking for, uh, God, these are in good condition. These are in unreal condition. If you got any characters you know that you're specifically looking for, definitely hit him up. He can let you know what he's got or who he's got. So yeah, if you got somebody in that you're looking for, go ahead and hit Jimmy up. He can tell you what he's got and what he don't. This came out probably about a week, maybe two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah. A whole bunch of uh, turtles bagged up over here. From like the 2012 cartoon and stuff, and then more vintage. Come over here, get in the uh, old Jurassic Park, a little bit of Star Wars. G.I. Joe vehicles up in there. <laughs> Lots of Pokemon if you're looking for Pokemon. It's got that. TNN right there, loose, looking good though. In great condition. Yeah. You don't pass the one that lights up? No, it don't light up. There was one version a long time ago. Yeah, that's the new legends. They might do it. Got that Bruticus. I love that. He's Big Bruticus fan for me. Yeah. Then he's kind of redid some of his front cabinets here. Moved a lot of his uh, loose DC and wrestling figures in. A couple more of the legends over here. Are you firm 50 on that dock? Yeah, I'm a little bit less. Let's see what the current some nice trade ins he's got right here on the DC. DC stuff, and I'll, I'll throw up some picture images here of the uh, DC figures he's got in a second. So just uh, to kind of show you. Um, it, it, he's got some cool pictures of the trade-ins on these, so if you got any DC figures you're looking for. All right. Yeah, they're going, uh, there's two listed right now. One's help you fill your... <laughs> Got in here. Got a fire starter. Looks good. It's the Jim Lee Superman there. Looks so good. Armored Batman. Got 
one on the bag there. Now these are all in great shape to complete. See if you got something particular you're looking for. Um, I'll go ahead right now. We'll throw up the uh, we'll throw up the image on the screen for you to kind of check out what was uh, what I was in this box here. All right, guys, so we got Jimmy is getting ready to go through some of the real new pickups that he's got here for the store. So what we got, Jimmy? What's up, guys? All right, so everybody's been trying to find these guys. These guys are super hard to find. So we got a couple sets of these turtles here. Uh, we got a couple more um, sky sleds from the new He-Man Origins line. Uh, this is the Future Dock from 2015 from NECA. Those are new. Uh, we got some more Lady Janes back in. Lady J's back in, sorry about that. Um, Couple of Funko Pops, Stranger Things, a little bit of Disney stuff here. We got a Castle Grayskull, which is highly sought after, super hard to find right now. Got this vintage WWF lunchbox with Thermos, which is pretty cool. Um, of course, we got the new Star Wars Clone Wars series here. Uh, a couple new Mortal Kombat's and this awesome, awesome Dark Side with Parademon. We got those in. And, um,. We did get a whole box of Power Ranger stuff here too. So if there's a certain series of Power Ranger or a certain color Power Ranger you're looking for, um, we've got a ton of those in as well. Uh, a couple other things too is we just got a couple of Star Wars figures here. These were actually traded in just recently today along with this Black Series IG-11, which is pretty cool. Nice. And then we've got um, Android Cranes. We still got some Super Shredders, both versions. Uh, we got a couple frog sets left. Still got the Super 7 Splinter, if you're looking for that guy. A couple pinball sets left. We did get this traded in recently, which is Shredder and Leo from the Toon line. Um, we've got some Splinter and Baxters left. Um, Mirage series, we got a couple of those left. And then we've got some more Toon sets, some uh, Bad Batch and Mandalorian Black series. And that's about it as far as the new, new stuff. <laughs> but you guys gotta check these out too, check this out. So we got some vintage Popeye and Olive. And then we also have this guy. Look at that, how often do you see stuff like this? Still got his whistle. This that's is from crazy. 1978. Wow. So it's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure it's haunted. Um, but yeah. It's, it's actually cool. in pretty good shape, really. Yeah, it's actually I mean, in that's really in good very shape. solid shape considering the situation and yeah. the age of him. <laughs> pretty yeah. neat you don't see stuff like this anymore no. so it's always but, cool to find stuff like that and it also came we also got in um an old school 1988 mario pencil sharpener i'm nice. sure some of you guys had these back in the day when you were a kid so it's kind of cool some pretty cool stuff cool. like always um if there's anything you're interested in just hit me up my cell phone number's everywhere um i'm sure there'll be a link in the description as well yep. as um, you can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, our website, backintimecollectibles.net. We'll um, drop all that in the description for you. Yeah, it'll all be in the description. So if you guys, uh, we also do layaways. If you're new to the channel, just to let you know, it's 20% down. You got two months to pay it off. And then we also do trade-ins. So you can trade in stuff for store credit and use that to buy anything in the store. And you'll ship to where? Anywhere, anywhere in the U.S. Anywhere in the U.S., cool. Yeah, man. we don't do international shipping, but we do anywhere in the U.S. Awesome. All right, cool deal. If you guys got any questions, just let me know. My name's Jimmy. So that was Jimmy over back in time. Got a lot of cool stuff in. So again, if you see something you like, hit him up. So we're actually now on uh, kind of like the second day. We're on Saturday morning. We're at a Walmart. It's a Walmart we hunt quite often out here in Charlotte. So we're going to run in and see what they got. And we're going to hit up a couple more Target. Um, man, I, I don't know. I kind of hit on this earlier in the video, but... If you guys seen the snake eyes, the um, roadblock that Hasbro announced yesterday, they announced that they're going to be re-releasing some of the Cobra Island stuff. So like the Baroness that nobody ever hardly got their hands on going for 150 bucks. Beachhead going for 150 bucks. Looks like they're going to be re-releasing -re some of that stuff. Give us some really cool stuff to hunt. 
some stuff we all need. Honestly, you know, I started off with the GI Joe line. I, I, I reviewed actually maybe a couple of figures here on the channel and it just got so hard. It was so hard to find the line. I was just, I'm not going to stress myself with it. I, I'm just, I'm not, I love GI Joe, loved them as a kid, uh, love the figures that they're putting out. But it's just like, I can't handle multiple frustrating lines to try to find. NECA being one, then you got GI Joe, probably two of the hardest one. MOTU Origins is not easy to find, uh, you know, unless you want He-Man and Skeletor. So, you know, it's just like at some point you got to draw the line on these frustrating figures because what you end up doing is going to the secondary market, you know, and paying double, triple, quadruple. Beach, like I said, Beachhead Bear Nest going for 250 bucks. So, yeah, what's your guys' thought on that? Do you ever give up on a line just because it's so hard to find that's my reasoning behind gi joe if it was readily available and i could walk in a store and find it or at least with a little bit of a hunt find it i'd be all over it uh but i just you know it's crazy you guys know how much i hunt i hunt every week i hunt five six seven eight so heck i've had weeks i've hunted 15 different stores and not found stuff so you know it's like where do you draw the line? So I'm interested from you guys. What, what does it take for you guys to give up on a line? Is it, is it money? Is it price? Is it, is it the price point that would cause you to give up on a line? Is it, you know, availability that would cause you to give up on a line? I'm interested to know that. Put that in the comments down below. Let's run on in Walmart. All right. All right. All right. Here we go in the toy section. Let's see what we got over here. I don't know why that just came out like a Matthew McConaughey, but uh, yeah, here we got Cobra Fang, 3.75 inch, and got Duke up here as well. So uh, it's interesting, the retro line all of a sudden kind of becoming easy to find for the most part. But uh, the classic Sonic, got Knuckles back in there. Kind of interesting, the uh, 3.75 inch Marvel Legends come out, and all of a sudden the G.I. Joe's become findable. I wonder if it's kind of, wonder if that has anything to do with it. Looks like uh, these still hanging around. They must've got a restock on these. Those there. Got Super Shadow down there and another Knuckles. Those are kind of good to see here at Walmart. We've typically only seen those at Target. Oh shoot, there's a lot of them up here. We got a ton of them, got tails back in there. Woody and Buzz, Spin Master. Who's collecting Spin Master out there? What's new? What's the new hot figures in Spin Master people are looking for? I don't know a lot about Spin Master. I like them. I like the 3.75. I love the like King Shark and and um, Catwoman and some of the Justice League characters. And just don't know a lot about the line. Jar Jar still hanging around. He's on clearance for $20.59. What the heck's his retail price if clearance is $20.59? Got the uh, McFarlane Batman there hanging around. Coming on down, we got the Optimus Prime hanging around. Got some of the uh, deep cover. Lots of deep cover. Sparkle Spot. Army drone there. Got some weird. Uh, Jordan, come back to the store Jordan. Oh, yeah, come back to the store A couple kingdom figures up here. Nothing we haven't seen before a hundred times. Coming on around. Got a Mario. Still undecided if I can find the flock panther. Would I buy it? I just don't know. I just don't know. There's a part of me that wants to. I just feel like he's overpriced. Um, I had a buddy actually hit me up yesterday on Instagram and uh, he had found him um, for himself. And, you know, he mentioned, you know, hey, if I find one, if I find another, you want me to let you know. And he's like, yeah, let me know. But I, yeah, I just can't decide if I want him or not. Let's make sure we don't see anything up across the top up there. We'll check and make sure there's not a Castle Gray skull. Yeah, it's this right here. Let's... Oh, we'll put this on the peg. That needs to be down here. We'll help them stock a little bit. All right, let's head. Uh, let's head to NECA. Look at this, guys. 
got a Castle Gray skull. That is, I actually found another Castle Gray skull. I didn't film it the other day, but I found another Castle Gray skull at my local uh, Walmart. But there we go. There he is. Let's head on back to NECA. I don't need that, but somebody does. So we're over here in the electronic section. Check that out. Steamboat Mickey. Like it actually comes like in a hard plastic container. And that's pretty cool there. A couple batarangs. Got some Godzilla versus Kong. It's kind of got that uh that look. Got some more uh, shredders here. And back here, got some more of the big ones. Big pops back here. And then we'll come on down. Looks like we got some more restocks on the statues, maybe. Got the Guardian Predator, Battle of the Bands Marty with kind of the disappearing hand. Got the Wolverine statues, the Deadpool bust. God, I'm so tempted to pick those up. What's this right here? That looks so good, too. Spider-Man. I just love those animated looks of those busts. And then coming on over, we got some uh, Cobra Fang in the wrong spot. Got some Kong aliens, a little bit of gremlins here. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Wow, listen to him. That would be extremely annoying. Like if that little dude went off in the middle of the night in your house or nothing really what I would consider new or earth shattering over here. Got the uh, fig pans, the rogue fig pans, couple turtles back in here, Raph, Mikey. And then our typical uh, Funko Pops down here. So, all right, cool. Well, what's this? Might as well look at these real quick. I don't know, Predator, Bunny? I don't no more. I don't know. These don't. These look terrible. I don't know what that is. Whatever. Funny. So great to see Castle Gray School out and about. That's the second time I've actually seen Castle Gray School uh, this week. I seen Castle Gray School at another Walmart. I wasn't toy hunting. Uh, me and my daughter was actually out buying a carpet cleaner. And uh, we was like, hey, let's just go check in the uh, Lego section. And there it was. There was a Castle Gray School. So that is two that I've seen this week. So apparently they're starting to hit some. Uh, just feels good, man. Got got a good workout in this morning. Left straight from the gym to come out and do some toy hunting. It just feels good that life is getting back to some semblance of normalcy. You know, it's not completely normal yet, but we're getting close. Things are getting more back to normal. You can get in the gyms. You can get out and hunt. Everybody doesn't have their mask on anymore. You do see some mask, which is fine. That's a personal preference. Uh, but you know, people are getting back to normal, man. It just feels good to be out toy hunting, uh, and things are kind of, you know, you're starting to see normalcy again. So very cool, very refreshing on a Saturday morning. Uh, anyways, we are at a target, so we're going to run inside this target and see what we can find. All right, guys, toy section. And man, do y'all hear that? Just listen. Yeah, it's nothing. It's nothing. That's what we're listening to. No music. No loud club music. Well done, Target. You're a toy hunter's friend. Got some two packs right here that we're looking at. Grief. Big E. He's got him a basic figure. Becky. And some other stuff we've seen. John Cena. Plenty of him to go around. Lots of sky sleds on sale. So yeah, if you need a sky sled, they're now 15 bucks. I figure once I pick one up, they drop the price by like 15 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, I should have waited on that. And I couldn't find my receipt or I'd bring it back and uh, and rebuy it. Ooh, look at that though. We haven't seen that or that or that. Wow, okay. So that's new. First time we've seen that. Coming on down. Got our 
Jurassic World, Jurassic Park stuff down here. Got Ian. Plenty of Ian. I don't know what these are. Stretchable dinosaurs. Video game stuff. Cruise down through. You know, this is a section that I just don't see a lot of people in very often. where the real meat and potatoes are right here. Got the Shang-Chi wave, gonna be hanging around for a while. These two right here ain't going nowhere anytime soon. Got a couple Modocs, pretty strong. 3.75 inch figure hanging around. Yeah, you remember uh, at that other Target we saw a different box for this guy so there apparently is multiple boxes for him SBD Space Ranger Red new Dinobot a couple Dinobots there here's a new wave the new Superman the new uh, Robin King Cycle down here. Very nice. Let's check NECA. All right, we are over in the NECA section. I'm looking hard. I got a buddy who needs a four pack. I'm looking hard for a four pack, but so far, no good. What's this, though? What is this? This is something new. Okay, okay. There's something for everyone. Um, Get your copy today. Summer on the Bluffs is available. Pretty cool. Ultimate Creedy. I've never seen... Um, that's a, that box is awesome, man. I don't know how well that's coming up on camera, but the thing looks fantastic. I love the way they did that. And all the... There's the new um, Doc. The new Doc Brown there. Pretty cool. And then coming on down down here got all the uh, typical stuff Ooh, got some G.I. Joe Cobra Commander do I need to get that maybe I need to get that I just don't really like that version I'm kind of wanting the, the next version of Cobra Commander but we do have all for one with that ginormous arm but hey it's the way it wasn't in, in the anime so there's the new king kong a lot of kits they got up in here too you kind of like to build the kits i gotta think about this do i want this cobra commander i don't know that's more like the video game version i guess that's some form of cobra commander maybe from the cartoon i don't know i just don't care much for it all right, let's move on to the next target. You know, guys, a little bit off topic, but you know, now that I'm not necessarily having to wear the mask everywhere, tell me if this is a problem you run into. So I just had a blueberry scone uh, at the last target that I went in Starbucks and I got me a pink drink and a blueberry scone. Pink drink, two shots of vanilla. That's what I love. My wife actually set me on that. That's her favorite drink and a blueberry scone. When you were wearing the mask, you didn't have to worry if you had stuff in your teeth. So now, when you get out of the car, now you gotta check your teeth. So, I guess even just as a word of advice, remember to check your teeth now. Make sure you don't have stuff in between your teeth, blueberry stain on your teeth, that type of thing. In fact, in my case, I've actually got to make sure I don't have food in my beard. That's something that happens from time to time. But when I had the mask on, I would just, didn't matter. I would leave it there and get it later when I get home. So 
something to think about, something to worry about, really. It's a courtesy thing. Check your teeth if you're not wearing your mask. Now, we're at Target. Let's run on inside Target. Let's see what's on the shelves. All right, guys, we are over in the toy section first. So we'll look at what we got for McFarlane. Tons of jokers. Looks like these are, these White Knight Batman are pretty, pretty easy to come across. Got the death metal line up here. We got, uh, looks like we got the Robins, the Wonder Woman. She looks pretty good. That's pretty awesome there. And then the, Michigan, man. Got the two bag down here from Earth One. Bad cycle. There's the. Is this the world trying to tell me I need to get this figure? I don't know. Down there. That's a Modoc. Maybe he's gonna be easy to find. Check this out. Got some of the uh, Winter Soldier wave, but just that's all we got. This Falcon. Video game waves over here. Not much though. They got the new Metal Sonic. Tails. I haven't seen those yet. And the smaller figs. Bunch of play sets. Might be a new basic. Tiny Storm. Black Series there. Got your Grease and Quill. Do got the indoor Leia. One three point seven five inch and typical Panther and He Man wave and the Pterodon. These are just everywhere right here. And these Raptors do look amazing. You got to give that to them. You know, it's like just uh, two even mountains. And over in the next section, I don't come to this Target very often because it sucks so bad typically. So it's probably been two months since I've been to this Target and filmed anything. But uh, I do got a new Dragon Ball here. I have not seen this guy, Janemba. This is just one of these properties I'll, I think looks awesome, but I don't have a clue about them. I know nothing about these. Got the new Doc, Ultimate Doc, back there. Some One Piece. model kits in there do got the uh unpainted version there i can't it's glaring everywhere for warhammer no turtles we got some super seven i've said it a hundred times if these weren't 17.99 I would be all in on these turtles. I would take all four turtles and I would hang them on my wall at home. I think the card art is beautiful. So that's it there, guys. Let's, uh, let's head out. So we are now at another Target. We're at Target of Mooresville. Uh, I think it's been maybe two weeks since we've been out here. Um, so I always enjoy coming to this Target. This is where I found a lot of my Transformers figures. I have found TMNT, NECA stuff here before, not typical though they their NECA section is not it's normally very stocked just not stocked with the stuff i collect so um anyways we'll run on in see what they got all right we'll run through the toy section first oh got some more big van vader haven't seen him in a while got some colt king corbin Cena. there's a uh, macho man ultimate seen him out ever before although we got a review of him on the channel edge as well that's pretty cool the elevator looks amazing it's a fantastic figure 
this guy's sled. Doesn't look like they're on sale here. That's kind of weird. You'd think that'd be kind of across the board. Then we got uh, Panthor and Battle Cats, a plenty. Got our Space Jam figures, Pixar stuff, Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, and coming all around. Got more of the uh, death metal stuff. Some more Dinobot. And a Green Lantern, John Stewart. He looks really, really good. The bat cycle there. So pretty well stocked for DC Multiverse. Oh shoot, look at that. Oh man. I need these two. Alright, we'll grab them. Okay, I think I ordered these from Amazon last night. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Hopefully I can cancel them off Amazon. Hopefully they ain't shipped yet is the, is the real kicker. We'll see before I walk out with them. We'll make sure that I can cancel them. And then coming on around. Got the video game stuff. Which is stuff we see quite often. to see here fortnite stuff waiting on the hasbro fortnite stuff to start popping up this maybe it'll take a little while let's head over to NECA all right we'll cover this uh, real quick what we got over here we got a Kong around Elm Street Halloween Battle of the Band stuff Elvis inch 40 bucks for that thing no negative I'm into the so just as an update we are gonna go ahead and grab these so we're gonna head back we'll get to the man cave and we'll look over everything we picked up on this hunt give a little discussion time wrap up the video so hang around for that we'll see you at the man cave all right, guys, we are back in the man cave. We are done with the successful toy hunt. Uh, as you can see, we got some G.I. Joe rolling in the man cave right now. I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit of Joe's. It is what it is. The announcement yesterday, we found some cool stuff that were G.I. Joe related. So I was collecting G.I. Joe's originally, and if you watch this whole toy hunt, I had a little bit of a discussion that really the only reason I got out was because it was just tough to find the Joe's, you know, the Baroness, the beachhead, the beachhead was gonna, was one of my favorites. If anybody out there's got a way to help me out getting a beachhead, let me know. I need a beachhead. That was my favorite figure as a kid. I can remember playing with the 3.75 inch beachhead. It may be the only GI Joe that I specifically remember having. So I came in a little after GI Joe, really, as far as from an age standpoint. GI Joe, had, I guess you can't say maybe the ship had sailed, but maybe in a sense it had. The, kind of the craze was a little over by the time I came through. So I had different G.I. Joe figures. Um, I don't think I, I, I can't remember if I ever had a Snake Eyes or not. I did have a Snake Eyes at some point in my lifetime. I just can't remember if as a kid I had one, but I did have Beachhead and he was one of my favorites. And he didn't scale well with my Ninja Turtles and my Gargoyles and you know my real Ghostbusters. He didn't scale well, but he was in there. He, he, was, he was just a, a smaller person you know, than everyone else. But he had a big heart, that was the key to Beachhead in my toy collection, my playing with my toy days. So anyways, if anybody has any ideas of how to get a Beachhead that ain't $150, hit Man Cave up. I need to know. Let's talk about what we found today. We found Lady J. Now let me tell you, this girl right here literally came directly out of the cartoon. They nailed this figure. So we'll probably do a review of this figure here on the channel. I'm getting backed up on reviews. I still got Mythic Legions that we hadn't got to. But Lady J just looking amazing. The, the back art is nice. I would prefer they go with more of a retro uh, card back on this. Uh, but, you know, the boxes on these look fantastic. They look really good. I like how clear plastic goes ahead and wraps around to the side. It just it adds a really nice look on this side. It's just a cardboard. But you got a nice uh, artwork there of 
Lady J, but she looks fantastic. We also picked up Flint. He looks really, really good. Sorry for the glare there. I think we've actually got some of the uh, TV glare going on, but Flint looking really, really nice. Got his uh, beret there with him. He looks fantastic. And we also picked up Our Lady Deathstrike from the new Marvel Legends wave. So the reason I picked her up, she doesn't necessarily go with any of the teams that I'm collecting, but I'm collecting, I'm going to do kind of a Wolverine and, and his like top 10 main villains. So we get like Silver Samurai, we got Cyber coming, we'll get a Sabretooth. So that'll be kind of what I'll collect Marvel Legends wise outside of just the teams that I already collect. So we saw some cool stuff. We saw a Castle Grayskull. We saw the Armored Hordak, He-Man, Skeletor. I did not get those. I already have the Armored He-Man. I'm really weird about having multiples of the same character within a line. I, I just, I, it's like my brain can't comprehend that I would have two Skeletor on my shelf. Personal preference. I think it's cool when people do completion of stuff and you get every version of someone. Um, I've got a buddy of mine, actually. Uh, we talk all the time and he collects a ton of one character, Luke Skywalker's, Obi-Wan Kenobi's. He collects Chewbacca's. That would near about drive me insane. And I'm talking about like it might be like 30 of one character. That would cause me to probably have some type of anxiety attack. So I gotta, I kind of have to have one. So the armored ones I skipped on, but it was cool to see them out and about. As far as the toy hunt, that's it for this week, guys. Uh, I thought it was a good toy hunt. Jimmy over back in time. Again, hit him up if you see anything in that video you like. He loves for you guys to hit him up. He loves to try to work deals for you and see what he can do to help you out. He ships that stuff out. He's got a layaway program. If you're buying something big, you're like, I can't afford 500 bucks. Well, one cool thing about Jimmy is you basically have like two months. You put down your, whatever your down payment is. I think he's 20% or whatever he asked for it to be. And then you've got two months to actually pay it off. So kind of opens up the option to get some vintage figures that you may not necessarily be able to to, to get any other way, you know, with an eBay purchase or something like that, where you just got to plop down five or $600. So pretty good deal he runs there. Definitely something cool to kind of help out the community if you want something that's kind of more of a pricey vintage figure. So anyways, guys, hit that like button. It helps out the channel. It helps out this video. Get it out there for other people to be able to see. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to the channel. We'd love to have you as part of the Man Cave Collectibles team. And as always, drop those comments down below. I love to hear from you guys. I love to conversate and talk about toys and talk about the hunt. It's always a good time. Check me out on Instagram, Man Cave Collectible Reviews. Put a lot of pictures of my collection. When I find stuff out and about, I try to put that information out there on Instagram. So if you're local, you may could shoot over and grab something like the Castle Gray School this morning. We posted it on Instagram. So hopefully somebody in the area will be able to see that and go pick them up at Castle Gray School Retail. So definitely check me out on Instagram. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Until next time.